Hello, hello, electronic music friend. How are you doing? It's Lucas Electric here. I recently came came over with this older calculator, sharp pocket computer, which dates back to to 80s, and I recall that there is a beep command that could perhaps be used for some simple tune generation purposes. So on today's episode of these afternoon experiments, we are going to have a look, look on how this beep command works and how we could perhaps utilize it in a simple tune context. We, we try to program a short code where we repeat this beep command to, to play back some, some notes. This sharp PC1500 was manufactured by Sharp Corporation between 1981 and 1985. This computer has 8-bit CPU and 2 kilobytes memory on board, which has been extended with this 16 kilobytes extension board. This was used for the various commercial applications for banking and also for, for insurance applications. What's interesting for our purposes, there is a, there is a beep function that we can try to program to make a small tune. So let's have a look how this beep function works. Let's switch this thing on and there we can see the command line where we can type in beep and three parameters. The first one is the number of repeats for the sound. The second parameter specifies the frequency and the third one is the length for the sound. So we can for example put it like this and let's, let's run this and let's listen how it sounds like. We can also try, for example, change the number of repeats. Maybe let's put it to 6 and change the frequency. And then let's try length like this. And let's hear how this sounds. The programming language is, is basic and it has, well, the features and functionalities that the basic language back in the days used to have. There are control structures, there are variables, and let's have a look on the small program that that I did, and then we then we run it to listen to how it sounds like. This the With the mode button, we can switch between the programming modes and run mode. And in this programming mode, I already have the, the program written. So this has to do with the length for the, for the notes. And then there's a long list of variables where, where I was defining the the note frequencies. This beep function it doesn't have any any musical parameter so I had to find out which which frequencies are matching to to which notes and when I found that out I was able to to say that for example B flat 4 is equal to to 100 20. This 120 is only a number between 0 and 250, which is the range that this beep function takes. So 
this one defines the number of notes. We have 30 notes. Then there's a rem comment. This is commented out this line. Then there's data line, which is defining the, the notes we want to play. So there's B flat three, then there's F4, B flat three and F4 and so on. B flat three and F4. So you can identify that it's the, the, the interval between B flat three and F4 is, is the fifth. So that's how this tune, tune starts. The reason why there is no flat sign here is that, that when I was first trying to program the variable name with three, three letters, it was failing, but it didn't, this device didn't give me any error messages. So I had to shorten the var variable length to two, two letters or numbers only. And that's why instead of B flat three, I have B three here. So these are the first notes. Then there are some more notes. And then we start reading those, those data values. First we read the number of the notes, which was 13. So X gets the value 13. And then we enter into the for loop where we repeat this loop from one to 13. So 13 times. We keep on reading those data values as data pairs that n gets the value of the node. So this will be B flat three and S will get the, the length for, for that node. There I was only using one and two. They don't have any specific meaning. They are only relational to, to each other. So the higher the number, the longer the, the node length. Then here's our beep command, three parameters, as we already had a look on this. We don't repeat the beeps, so that's why there's all, always beep one, then the N in the middle that gets the note name and starts this B flat three. And then in, in the, the last parameter, is the note length. There we are multiplying with, with D, which was set to in the beginning of the, the application. It's useful for controlling the overall kind of nature of, of this, this tune. And then we have next I, which repeats this, this loop. And then the last line is end where this program ends. So let's run this application to listen to how it sounds like. We switch back to run mode, we type in run, and behold. Quite fancy. Let's run it again. Since it's a program, we could try to modify some parameters. So let's go to the programming mode again. And in the first line, we had the definition for the node length. So instead of 25, we could say, for example, 50. And let's listen to how, how it sounds like now. So with the run command, we can run the application and let's push enter. So the tempo becomes much slower. And what if we want to make the each note length a bit shorter to increase the tempo? We could, for example, say 15. 
And now it's like this. Maybe the the original one was was the best. So let's set it to to twenty five. Yeah, this is a cool one. So, what about polyphony, you, you ask? Well, there is no polyphony unless you take the second pocket computer and when you have two of these, then you can have two voices sounding at the same time. So, let's try to program a simple repeating note to, to hear how it sounds like. With this other machine I will just use the simple beep command and I will put this to play this B flat 3 as, as a root and for some length and then should be able to click the enter at the same time. Let's see. And in, now it sounds like this. So there's the polyphony part. I guess this kind of simple tune done with um, done with the a retro calculator which can be programmed falls into the category of, of chip tunes where people are making noise or sounds or even music with some some toys and and with the equipment that was never purposed for for music making. But these kind of devices or toys or whatever they can generate ideas and work as launch pads for, for for even some some songs so you make up come up with some new ideas that you could find useful when you are producing some some techno or house or whatever the music is that you are you are working with As a takeaway, keep your ears and eyes open and when you come across with any kind of toys or calculators or devices or anything at all that could possibly generate some kind of sound, tinker with, with those and who knows, maybe, maybe those tunes become an essential part or at least generate ideas for your next great songs. Many thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!